So what does this one say? So like all the hexagon. Hexagon, right? They're colonial innkeepers. What do colonial innkeepers do? They uh, let people stay at the inn when people are on long trips. Very good. Good job. A family approach to education. That's what you'll find here at Pennington Traditional School. Hi, I'm Brentsville District School Board Representative Gil Trenum. More about Pennington in a bit, but first I'd like to share a few things about the ongoing work of the school board specifically related to our Capital Improvements Program, referred to as the CIP, and School Facility Improvements. The Capital Improvements Program is how we plan for new schools, additions, and major renovations to accommodate student growth. Every year we evaluate and update our CIP based on current needs and priorities. I sit on the Joint County School Capital Process Team a committee composed of three members of the Board of County Supervisors and three school board members. As a committee, we made several process improvements to more effectively get things done. These include directing county and school division staff to collaborate on land acquisition efforts and to develop uniform and consistent shared data sets for county and school growth projections. This may sound obvious, but on several occasions in the past, the school division and the county have found themselves competing for the same parcel of land for different purposes. We believe these improvements will provide better growth projections in the future and enable both boards to better plan for needed capacity and to accelerate efforts to reduce trailers across the county when possible. A related effort to the CIP is the School Division's Infrastructure Task Force. This committee, composed of parents and community members, just finished up a two-year effort to identify inequities between older and newer school facilities. Based on their recommendations, the school board will have to work to identify funding in our budget and our CIP to correct these inequities. One example from the first year of this effort is the much-needed security improvements at our elementary schools that the board chose to fund during the current budget cycle. This past year, the task force examined middle and high schools and delivered a separate set of recommendations for those. I would encourage you to review the task force recommendations and let your representative know what your thoughts are as we prioritize funding allocations for the next budget cycle. As board members, we understand that things don't always go as smoothly as we all would like, and we are always looking for ways to improve. I want to assure you that we do appreciate feedback and take your suggestions seriously. One area that has been challenging this year is bus transportation. We are a big county with lots of schools and lots of students. And like many other school divisions across the nation, we are trying to overcome a shortage of bus drivers. We continue to pursue a number of solutions to the transportation issues impacting our schools and activities. These include the recruitment and expedited training of coaches and school staff to become certified bus drivers, recruitment bonuses for staff who recruit other new drivers, and new types of retention and performance incentives. If you have suggestions that you think would help with this situation, I would encourage you to send them to your school board representative and to our staff. Back to Pennington. I love visiting Pennington. Traditional schools like this one and Porter on the other end of the county are very popular options for parents and students. Pennington principal Amanda McCullough shares more about Pennington and its appeal. I'm constantly asked, why do people choose Pennington? Why should someone choose Pennington? And you know, it's really difficult to put into words. But I truly believe that families choose Pennington because they're looking for something special, something more than your typical K-5 to or 6 through 8 school can offer. Pennington offers a family approach to education. It's pretty neat that everyone knows everyone and truly everyone looks out for everyone. Each family is cared for and our families work hard at building and maintaining that community. And it really is a place that brings you back to kind of a simpler time where excellence, service, and tradition are the root of all that we do. You know, I asked our students the other day and I think they put it best. They had to describe the strengths of Pennington and they said that there's no popularity here. Everyone loves each other just as a family would. They believe that this comes from being together in the small school environment from first through eighth grades, from teachers knowing them and their families intimately, and from the school uniforms, which lets each student focus on academics rather than on social status and style. Our traditional schools have much to be proud of. Pennington has earned the School of Excellence designation 14 times. Their SOL scores are outstanding. This year, the writing and advanced math courses each had 100% pass rates. It's the start of the new year and nearly halfway through our school year. After 11 years, I continue to be amazed by the students and the schools in the Brentsville District and all of Prince William County. I hope your family had a successful 2018 and that this success continues for 2019 and beyond.